Traditionally, cultivation in vegetables and mixed cropping systems has required multiple passes with large, powerful machinery to break up soil compaction. These operations are costly in terms of capital costs, fuel and labour. The compaction caused by heavy machinery can also have negative impacts on soil quality. Recent expansion in the use of GPS guidance technology in vegetable production has led to alternatives to traditional cultivation practices, including controlled traffic farming and strip tillage. GPS guidance enables producers to limit soil compaction to defined wheel tracks and provides the necessary precision for alternative tillage systems, such as strip tillage. The Department of Agriculture, Fisheries and Forestry Queensland has been undertaking a statewide project to assist growers in implementing controlled traffic farming systems. This work is funded by the Federal Government through its Caring for Our Country program. Project leader Julie O'Halloran has been working with vegetable growers to develop controlled traffic and reduce tillage farming systems and is assisting them to get the most out of the technology. The stimulus for the project was the widespread implementation of GPS guidance systems by vegetable farmers. And once the growers have that technology in place, we really wanted to focus on them being able to realise it to its full potential and use it for a range of other applications other than merely being able to drive straight. So CTF is one of those applications, but it is also fundamental to and facilitates a range of other farming system changes, such as strip tillage. The project was focused on promoting CTF systems to vegetable farmers across the state and it was also there to also provide assistance with producers who were trying to implement CTF systems or trying to move to a reduced tillage system. The Pajoli family operate a farm near Tolga on the Atherton Tablelands in North Queensland. Ben farms approximately 220 hectares in partnership with his father and brother. Their rotation consists of grass seed, sugarcane, peanuts, grain corn and potatoes. As a third generation farmer, Ben has substantial experience with traditional cultivation systems and he knows how labour and machinery intensive these can be. Previous generations of the Pajoli family have had an interest in minimising tillage, but it's the availability of the technology that has allowed Ben to incorporate strip tillage into his operation as a way of saving costs, conserving soil moisture and improving productivity and soil quality. The idea of strip tillage is, um, is basically to get the best of no-till and conventional till. So basically what you've got is the inter-row is no-tilled um, and the row where you're planting your crop is, is fully tilled like in a conventional situation. Um, so you don't have any hard pan in, in that area where you want to try and grow your crop. GPS guidance and the ability to control machinery traffic is fundamental to a strip tillage system as it provides the precision needed to accurately and consistently traffic fields. The cost savings and soil quality benefits from controlled traffic based systems such as strip tillage make them an attractive option for growers like Ben. Uh, my motivations for moving towards a strip till situation, um, the main one was probably the, the the cost of machinery, um, the fuel those machines used, uh, the replacement cost of those machines. So um, by going to a strip tool situation we could we would be running up less hours on our tractors as what we would have been in a conventional situation. And another one was uh, soil moisture retention. I lease a lot of dry land uh, country for us to grow corn on and we were finding that the corn was suffering um, through some of the season with moisture stress and also um, sometimes we had to delay planting because we didn't have enough moisture in the ground which going to the strip till situation helped us um, conserve moisture at planting and then also throughout the crop the, um, we, we found that the crop didn't get as moisture stressed at certain times. The move to strip tillage has meant that Ben has had to change some of his field preparation methods and overall this has resulted in reduced inputs. Our conventional till system uh, consists of one pass with the disc arrow um, and then followed by uh, deep ripping and then that was followed by deep ploughing um, 
and then when the rains would come we would power harrow that ground to get it ready for planting an next crop whether it be peanuts or corn. Um, those machines aren't very wide machines so the operations took a fair while. And our strip tool practice is we will either strip tool first, we don't bother disking, we may mulch depending on how much residue is there um, and then we follow up with a, with a herbicide spray before, before planting. Well sometimes we do the herbicide spray before we even mulch depending on what's going on in the season. To cover ground with a 80 foot boom spray is a lot quicker than covering it with a 6 metre disc arrow. So we basically cut uh, about three passes out of our operations going to a strip tool situation. These changes have resulted in substantial savings of both costs and labour hours. This chart shows the typical hours per hectare Ben spends when preparing for planting using conventional cultivation. The combination of these operations amounts to almost two hours per hectare and typically involves high powered machinery that is expensive to purchase, run and maintain. By contrast, when utilising strip tillage, the number of passes is typically far less and the total hours per hectare are also significantly reduced. Just as importantly, smaller, lower powered machinery is able to be used, resulting in further cost savings. In Ben's case, this amounts to savings of almost $100 per hectare in machinery costs alone. In addition to cost savings, there are other benefits for vegetable growers from the use of a strip tillage system. One of the advantages that we've seen with the strip till system um, that we didn't actually realise when we bought the machine was it opens up a window to grow more crops in a year just because of the timeliness to be able to turn that field around and get a crop back in there and also the soil health of the fields get better by strip tilling. Like many farming systems and operations, proper setup and configuration is important for getting the most out of a strip tillage system. It takes a bit of fine tuning to get it perfect. Uh, the first year I did it wasn't perfect but I could see that the advantages were there to keep strip tilling. Um, probably one of the main things is your soil moisture when you're working uh, the ground with a strip till rig. You do need some moisture there for everything to flow and, and uh, any of the ground engaging tools to help them turn. Um, and strip tillage basically you can use it from saving moisture to getting rid of moisture depending on what, what you need to do. So basically if you use it before a rain event um, with a little bit of moisture in the ground you're going to conserve any moisture you have after that for planting or if you need the ground to dry out a bit more you can go in after a rain event and help dry that soil out. Based on his success with strip tillage so far Ben has plans to further develop and apply this system within his farming operation. I really want to get it into um, the peanuts, um, mainly because with the corn so far, the yields have always been the same or better with strip tillage, so I can see that maybe in peanuts we would have that same situation. Um, I want to grow more cover crops and different styles of cover crops to see if I can lift yield there. And also I want to look more at vertical tillage, because uh, I can see great benefits with that as far as uh, soil compaction, you're not going to get as much soil compaction with vertical tillage compared to horizontal tillage. Okay. Implementing CTF and reduced tillage systems is not without its challenges. However, these farming system changes do provide horticultural producers with opportunities to reduce their cultivation requirements, uh, minimise their costs and also improve their soil quality.